Hello, my name is Jeray Davidson. I will be a senior at Toka High School in Toka, Oklahoma, and I am a part of the NASA robotics team. So some background and goals for my project. I originally had two ideas before I landed on my final device. My main goal was to make something fun and creative, but also something helpful and useful. My first idea was for a tracker vest you would put on your dog that connects to your phone. So say if your dog runs away, all you would have to do is look at your phone to see where they are. The main reason I decided against this project was because I have a very little three pound Yorkie right here to the right, who is very, is very little. So she wouldn't be able to actually wear the device since it is so, it would be so bulky and big for her. My second idea was to have a device that could sense if a person is six feet away from you. Since COVID, is a, uh, since COVID, a lot more people have been extremely cautious about others and try to keep themselves distance. This device would have an LED that would light up either green if they're six feet away or farther and red if they're closer than six feet. I decided against this because it seemed a little simple to accomplish and I really wanted to push myself. So this is my final project. The rainbow measuring tape, I'm sorry, you can't see the actual here. It says the rainbow measuring tape use an ultrasonic sensor and an RGB LED to determine how far away an object is. And here an ultrasonic sensor, which is circled in blue over here on the left, that sends sound waves in whichever direction you point it. Once it bounces off of something, they'll send the sound waves back to the sensor and depending upon how far away it is, oh sorry, how far away it, how long it takes to receive the signals back is how far away the object is. The RGB LED, which is circled in pink, uses three colors, red, green, and blue, to make the LEDs light up in whichever color. And I have this device set up so that when you, when the object you're pointing at is one foot away, it turns red, two feet away, it turns orange, three feet yellow, four feet green, five feet six, six feet purple, or five feet six, sorry, I'm sorry, five feet blue, six feet purple, and seven feet is pink. The rainbow case picture to the right is something, it was supposed to be the house, housing for the device to determine whether it, to make it actually wearable. Unfortunately, I didn't have enough time to complete it, but it was very close. I had it to where it's just the computer would get very hot on my arm, which was, I'd prefer to have it, it's more of a safety issue than anything else at the moment. I would have included a picture of my code, but it's very hard to get it off of the actual computer that we use, but, and to actually show it all in one picture. But the code was definitely the hardest part of this whole process because it's very hard with having only one LED to try to determine how to make it each different color and especially trying to make it in between a range of distance, like from zero to 30 centimeters, which would be one foot. It's very hard. It took me a while. I think most of my struggles and stuff with the project were on the code. So I have a video here of my actual demonstrating my project. Uh, sorry ahead of time for my dogs because they are very loud. <laughs> so they are very loud and tend to be annoying, especially during this video. Also, at the end, you'll see that the it goes from purple to red, then back to purple, then to pink. See, toward the end of the actual like spectrum of the light, it gets the farther away it gets, it harder. It's harder for the sensor to actually get back the sound. So sometimes, if something gets just too far away for it to hit, it'll slip, like it'll make it go back straight to zero, which is why it turns red for a second. So it has to like basically think for a second. Oh hold on, I actually have to still sense something, but I'll show you the video. See how it flashed from purple to red to pink? That's because the, it's just, it has a very hard time sensing something so. So I would like to thank my 
my mentors from my national my national robotic mentors, Sherelle Webb and Gerald Holito, I think his name is, and to the SEED program for such an amazing opportunity and experience it's been. So some highlights of this internship. I think that the best part of this experience was that it was really it really opened my eyes on my future for possibilities and made me really think about what I want to do with myself in the future. Like not just like a general like what I what I want to do in college, but like also what I want to do as a career, like as an adult. It also made me realize that just because I'm such a, I'm a small town girl in Oklahoma doesn't mean I can't do anything so amazing. Like nobody expected me to even get into this internship to begin with so it was very it was much a surprise and like everyone in my entire town <laughs> freaked out about it and we're, I'm just so grateful that this even happened to begin with so some challenges were that it was just really that it was online because it was so hard for me to communicate with people online I have to have I really did a visual visual person I have to have someone like visually with me for me to like comprehend what they're saying so it was very hard for me to get my instructions on my projects and I still got it done I still figured it out it's still it was just I feel like it was probably a lot harder for me than it would have been for a lot of other people but I still powered through it because this is really amazing and I was really excited to be in such an important and like ex exciting situation <laughs> I do understand now that COVID is the reason why and I'm I'm very happy that I got to do it at all that they didn't just cancel it like they did for a lot of things because of COVID but I hope that for everybody next year that they actually get to be in person and get to meet everyone on their team like in person and get to hang out and become actual like close friends but thank you